Who are you to judge anyway, huh? You little punk, huh? <laughs> it's Friday then, it's Saturday, Sunday. <laughs>I'm Dario and in this video I want to talk about the powerful idea of the gap and the gain popularized by the strategic coach Dan Sullivan and it's about how we measure our progress in life and how that determines whether we feel happy or unhappy with ourselves. Now, before we go more in depth into this idea, I want to explain why it's so important to me. If you're on a personal development journey like I am, you understand the concept that if you work on yourself, you can become a better person. And if you can become a better person, you can have a better life. And that's a very empowering idea. And so you start to read books and listen to podcasts and learn skills and take on new habits. And life does get better. But at some point you realize that there is always something more that you can do. There's always a better version of yourself. And personally, this has been a struggle for me in the past years. Many times I've, you know, I, I realized, oh my God, there are so many books that I still want to read, so many skills that I still want to learn and so forth. And that kind of became very overwhelming you know a, a kind of like a pressure to do all these things oftentimes just led me to feel very tense very stressed and kind of burned out overall and so that's a real problem so what you know if you have experienced something like that like like I have what can we do about it so this is where the book the gap in the game and this concept by Dan Sullivan really becomes empowering and powerful like a really like a, a paradigm shift in how to approach this and he basically says that in your journey of personal growth there's always three reference points one where you started so that's your initial self two where you're currently at and that's your current self and three where you want to go where you want to be and that's your ideal self and how you measure your progress using these three reference points is gonna make the difference in whether you feel accomplished and happy about yourself or unhappy and frustrated and disappointed with what you're doing. And so if you're like me, you probably have a tendency to measure yourself, your current self, comparing it against your ideal self. And so you always feel like there is much more to do and uh, more things to do. But Dan says this is a big mistake because you should never measure your progress with things that are not real. And so he basically says your ideal self is not a real thing. It's, that, it's just a concept, it's just a reference point that it can be very useful to kind of point, you know, uh, telling you which direction to go and kind of fuel your growth and inspire your progress, but it can never be used in your measurement about your progress. Because he says he brilliantly compares it to the horizon and he says, uh, think of the horizon. You can think of the horizon, you can see the horizon, you can even move towards the horizon, but you can never reach the horizon because the horizon doesn't really exist. It's just a concept in your head. Once you reach the horizon, it's going to be farther away from you still because that's by definition the nature of the horizon is not a real thing. It's just an idea in your mind. And the same is, is true for your ideal self. You can never become the best version of yourself. There is always going to be, uh, no matter how much you learn, how much you grow and what you accomplish, there is always a better version of yourself farther down the line. So you could never ever close that gap between your current self and your ideal self. So instead, what should you do? How should you measure your progress? You should always measure it backwards, never forward, always backwards against your initial self and the point where you started your personal development journey. If you do that, you will realize that you already come a long way and you already accomplished a lot of things and you read a lot of books and you did a lot of, you know, learned a lot of skills and uh, had a lot of experiences that you learned from and so forth. And if you do that, you will basically see that, uh, wow, I've done so much, you already feel accomplished and then you want to just add on top of it. You know, it's a compounding effect of all the things that you already done to improve from and move forward from that direction. And so that's going to uh, also get you uh, more excited and more motivated to keep adding to it rather than, you know, this feeling of, oh my God, I've done so much and yet it's never enough. There's still always, always something more to do, always something more to do. No, I've already done so much. Let me add on top of that. Before I wrap this up, I just want to show you a little exercise that I did 
uh, based on this idea and that you can do as well if you want to kind of crystallize this idea in your mind and uh, try to implement it in your own how you see your own progress and so back to the studio <laughs> All right, to do this exercise, you only need a couple of things. First of all, you need to identify what year, even the month, if you want, you started your own personal growth journey. So for example, for me is 2015, when I finished university, I didn't know what to do with my life. And so I started to read books and so forth. And so that's the starting point of my personal journey. So you need to identify that for yourself. The other thing you need is uh, a picture of yourself in that year and a picture of yourself today so that you can contrast and have this uh, you know, uh, nice contrast between who you were back then, when you started your journey, and who you are today. Other than that, you open a Google Doc, uh, and you can call it the game, and then it's pretty simple. Uh, so you create a table. Uh, where is it? Yeah, it's here with three columns and two rows. So in the first column, you put the, I don't know, I put 2015 because it's my chosen date, then you put the gain, then you put 2021. You can edit it as you please. And then in the first column, you put the picture of yourself back then, and then 2021, you put yourself today, and then you can put, I'm gonna freestyle here, uh, and you can put like, okay, I read 36 books. I traveled to 12 countries. I open uh, an online, store i i worked on my relationships uh and so forth so you get the idea and you can update this constantly and uh, improve it uh, all the time and it's a great document to have so that you can always go back to it and have this really nice contrast uh that is going to make you feel good about all the things that you already accomplished and done to become a better person and to have a better life. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know what you think of it in the comments below. I also have a monthly newsletter where I share more ideas like this. So if you want to join that and read that, uh, please go on my website, dariov.com newsletter. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.